only doing the terrorist work for them, assuming this is a terrorist attack. Uh, and what you say there certainly echoes uh, comments we had from the British Metropolitan Police a little bit earlier, um, urging people to just be cautious and respectful and responsible in the way in which, in which they uh, treat any footage on social media or indeed pass it on, because obviously you have you know, relatives, friends of those who may have been affected by what's happened and, and that, you know, there'll certainly be, uh, you know, many people uh, worried and alarmed by, by what they see happening here. Uh, just looking at the statements given half an hour, uh, maybe just more than that, by from Commander Harrington, um, just looking at the full statement here, and uh, he's saying that we remain open-minded to the motive of but confirming that a full counterterrorism investigation is already underway. What will be their priorities now? Their priorities will be to um, identify the individuals concerned, to find out whether they have potential accomplices, and they can do that when they know people uh, are involved in this. The other third priority will be a massive surveillance activity around the capital and elsewhere at vulnerable sites to detect early if there is a possibility of uh, other attacks because as you know from attacks elsewhere and even in London 77 bomb bombings that we had which was the last major attack that we had uh, ignoring poor old Lee Whitby's murder um, then what these terrorists try and do is to have simultaneous attacks or follow-on attacks so they can grab the publicity that they so desperately seek uh, for their causes so for all of those reasons there will be many uh, activities going on, but targeting surveillance in areas that the police most likely expect attacks vehicle racing across that bridge from the south side where I'm standing across to the north side towards uh, the Palace of Westminster at high speed. He said the road was pretty clear. There were a lot of people on the pavement and then just as it reached the edge of, at the end of that bridge there, uh, swerved off to the left hand side across the cycle lane uh, and into a number of people uh, on the pavement on the edge of the bridge. Now uh, we've heard from police sources and indeed hospital sources, uh, that there were perhaps 10 to 12 injuries uh, on that bridge, well, possibly uh, one death as well on that bridge. Uh, some of them walking wounded, likely injured, others gravely injured. We've heard in the last hour from the Port of London Authority uh, that a woman with serious injuries was pulled uh, out of the water in the River Thames uh, here and indeed we heard earlier from the police that they responded at about 2.40 p.m. London time, that's about three hours ago now, to simultaneous reports uh, of a person in the river, of a collision, a vehicle collision on the ridge and uh, thirdly of a man armed with a knife somewhere in the precinct of Parliament and of course these all linked now uh, into the same incident whether it involved the same man perhaps the driver of the vehicle and the man armed with a knife we simply do not know I've spoken as I said to some eyewitnesses uh, one of them Martin Pierce gave me this account of what he saw on the bridge immediately afterwards <laughs> 